imagination is a dead imagination. And here I stand, Pylades, a loyal friend caught in a web of fate so cruel, it strangles even the hope of a peaceful end. The house of Atreus, cursed, stained with blood and madness, now finds its drama's climax in these moments of desolation. We arrive in Argos, my dear friend Orestes and I, to a home not of warmth, but of bitter memories. Orestes, driven by Apollo's command, strikes down his mother, Clytemnestra, to avenge his father's murder. Yet, what god orders such a deed without offering solace or redemption? Instead, he is left haunted by the Irenes, the relentless furies, their screams a constant reminder of the matricide. I see Orestes, his mind unraveling, consumed by the horrors of his actions. He speaks of visions, of shadows that claw at his soul. My heart aches, for I know not how to ease his torment. I remain, steadfast by his side, as his sanity frays. Our cousin, Electra, joins our sorrow, her face a mask of pain. Together, we stand in the court of Menelaus, seeking aid, seeking clemency. But the mighty king, now returned from Troy with Helen, shows no mercy. He leaves us to our fate, his heart hardened by the years of war and suffering. Orestes, in his despair, conjures a plan so dark, it chills me to my core. He speaks of taking Helen, of using her as a bargaining chip. I argue, I plead, but his resolve is unyielding, a desperate man grasping at shadows. We storm the palace, only to find Helen vanished, a wisp of smoke carried away by the gods. In the chaos, we seize Hermione, Menelaus's daughter, and barricade ourselves within. The city of Argos rises against us, baying for our blood. I see the madness in Orestes's eyes, a storm that will not be calmed. Electra, brave Electra, stands with us, her loyalty unwavering even as the walls close in. And then, the trial. We are dragged before the people, judged by those who do not know our suffering. The verdict is death. Orestes, condemned to the fate he fears most, clings to me, his last tether to sanity. I vow to stay with him, to face death together, as brothers in arms, as friends bound by fate's cruel hand. But it is in this darkest hour that a sliver of light pierces through. Apollo descends, deus ex machina, to proclaim a new order. Orestes is absolved the fury silenced by divine decree. I see my friend, broken yet unbowed, rise from the ashes of his despair. He will marry Hermione, a union that promises to heal the wounds of the past. Electra is given to me, a bond that seals our loyalty with love. The house of Atreus, though scarred, finds a path to redemption. And I, Pylades, stand witness to it all. The pain, the madness, the fleeting moments of hope. In the shadows of these cursed walls, I have seen the worst of humanity, and yet, I hold on to the belief that even in the darkest night, there can be a dawn. Imagination is a dead imagination, but memory, memory is a living thing. It breathes, it endures, it shapes the future. And so, I remember. I remember the friendship, the loyalty, the courage amidst the chaos. I remember, and I hope. For without hope, we are truly lost.